Much peace and love. Let's see who all pop up in this thing, man. But in the meantime, though. Had to give me some grub in here. Had to get my grub on. I was gonna do it at nine. Had to get my big salute. I was gonna go live at nine. Had to give me. I had to eat me some real quick. I was hungry as hell. Let me light this incense up. Much peace and love. Much peace and love. Pour me up a little drinky drink one time. But yeah, I wanted to go on ahead and uh, I don't know. If, I ain't been on here in a while. I had some gizzards, some chicken gizzards. Had some chicken gizzards. Yeah, I had to, I had to get my grub on. I was moving around and I putting that on my stomach. I was like, let me go and eat me some, man. Yeah, I got the stream y'all going again. I ain't did this in like, I ain't did this since I got to Africa that time. I did it a few times. It's been a minute, man. Shout out to everybody pulling up, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, I don't know if, uh, trying to see. Let me just pay attention to this. Yeah, but yeah, man, I wanted to talk about, you know what I'm saying, because I get, I, I get asked a lot, you know what I'm saying, did JT, you know, pay me, pay me my uh, money back or whatever, you know what I'm saying, man, he did, JT did pay me my bread back, you know what I mean, and I was, I wasn't tripping off the bread at the moment and stuff, I was, uh, I was emailing him about the videos, seeing if he still had them videos. And when I emailed him about the videos and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? How you, how you want me to send, send that bread to you or whatever? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to send your bread. And I was just like, oh, shit, that's love. Move, boy. He was like, yeah, I'm going to send you your bread, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, that's love, you know what I mean? So it was 100, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, he gave my flowers and, you know what I'm saying, I gave him his flowers, you know, but basically just rapping about, you know, the adventure on going out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he sent it, he sent it, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, we was just rapping, he was just telling me how I did my thing and, you know, I'm telling him, you know, you did your thing too, you know? Yeah, he the only one uh, that got something in common with how I was coming, you know what I'm saying, with five kids and a wife, so, you know, I couldn't relate to nobody else for real, and, you know, motherfuckers got to be a little, little bit, I could only imagine if it was just me by myself, and I probably would have had an even more good time, I came out a lot of bread, man, but yeah, he shot me the money back and everything like that, and, uh, and everything was cool, man. You know, threw my flowers and shit like that, you know. Did the same, you know. Gave him salute to the family and everything like that. He did the same thing. And it was cool, you know what I'm saying? Everything was cool, man. You know what I mean? But like I was telling everybody else, you know, my situation was a lot different than their situation. How they, how they uh dealt with the business with JT and everything, you know what I'm saying? But overall, you know, I went tripping off of it like that. But he, but yeah, he turned me up, you know, he gave, gave me the bread back and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even get a chance to see the land, man. I wish I, I could have got a chance to see the land, but shit, fuck it, it's overnight. But you know what I'm saying? Nah, I still got the other land too. So I got the other land I bought myself, you know. Trying to think about what I want to do with that. 
You know, as far as I'm thinking about uh, like food or something like that, get something going like this. So I, I'm thinking about rapping with a couple of people and saying if we could probably work something out with that. You know what I mean? But uh, overall, though, you know, everything work out. Everything work out, you know, differently for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say here yeah, pulling your coat. Hey, that be having me holler, man. I had ran across I had ran across Q2. Uh I think I had seen, I think first time I had seen you was like uh it was a little second ago. I think it was something I ain't know what was going on between uh you and Cuz Cuz. I was confused about a lot of shit. So I'm just like much peace of love, much peace of love. Yeah, I went to another village. I was uh, I was in, I was in um, in Zabber when I when I went to Burkina Faso. So I was way away from JT. I wasn't nowhere around him. You know what I'm saying? So he was doing this thing in the capital, and then uh, I was uh, over in the village. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when I came back to the capital, though, then he had uh. He, he was shaking to Kenya then, you know what I'm saying? He was going through uh, his disputes and shit like that. That's when him and Queen L had, when I came back, that's when him and Queen L was getting into it and everything. But well, they ain't getting into it, but, you know, he was going on his uh on his YouTube and, you know, he was pissed off about how they was moving, how the uh, Bo Foundation was moving and shit, you know what I'm saying? Then he went on ahead and just shook the king. You know what I mean? So I'm like, God damn, that's when he hit me, baby. And he was telling me about you know what I'm saying uh I should get I should uh, go ahead and roll out there you know what I'm saying oh uh, yeah I, I ain't see uh I ain't see her stuff pop up I had ran into her on TikTok it was crazy too I'm looking I'm like damn what hey I ran into her on TikTok just just scrolling so yeah I ain't see the live or nothing like that. I just seen the video and she was talking about how she left because she had caught uh, malaria and stuff like that. But yeah, man, everything happened so fast. Everything happened so fast, man. And, and everything, like, I, I had my hands full, man. I had my hands full, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, shout out to JT for what he did, man. Hey, I'm sorry for anybody who's pissed off or whatever, whatever. Well, you know, I ain't never had no problem with him, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had no problem with him, so, you know, how that thing was looking on mine. Uh, we were, he was going to shoot a video for me, too. He was, uh, I, I wanted to shoot a video out there for one of my tracks, so I was going to have him uh, do it for me. He was like, yeah, you know, yeah, I'll do that. And then um, I think... Uh, I think I was still in the village at that time when he was just like, yeah, you know, we can do that or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But then when I, by the time I came back to the capital, everything was, everything was started, like, changing, you know what I'm saying? Everything was messed up out there, man. And JT, JT was like, no, I'm out of here. Yeah, that's real talk. It's everywhere. Drama is everywhere. It's everywhere. They they be, they was having their own problems out there. Like uh, they have tribal conflicts out there. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of people don't be knowing. They be having tribal conflicts and stuff like that. And uh, like you might have um brothers and sisters might be coming from a different country in Africa. And they don't be liking that when you pulling up from a different country and you and you came, you know what I'm saying? And you come into they in they uh country and doing whatever like it was one bro who had a restaurant and some more shit. You ever wanna go back? I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go, but uh like uh I, I look at it like as far as Burkina Faso go to be for business, because I got that land. Unless for some reason, you know what I'm saying, I end up just selling mines too or something like that. And uh but to kick it, kick it though, I'd probably wanna go to Ethiopia. That was that was my favorite spot I went. I ain't gonna lie, and I wasn't even there long. 
I was at Burkina Faso for four years, but I was in uh, Ethiopia for like a day. It, was, it wasn't even that long. I went to Niger too for like a day, you know, just moving around. You know what I mean? But I had a cool time, man. Ethiopia was real nice, man. I was just surprised how, how nice it was. But uh, I think I think East East Africa is more, you know what I'm saying? It's more turned up over on the East, you know. I I, don't, I never want to go to South Africa just because you know them folks out there and they straight us out there on the street, like looking like you know uh like on some KKK type shit. You know it was crazy, bro. I'm looking like how hey, y'all. That's crazy. So they act like gangs innocent. Yeah. Someone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they 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 act like that, you know what I'm saying? And um it's like um they just don't they they will not they will not be uh cool with you unless you from they tribe. And you might be from another another country in Africa. Like I'm talking about a whole continent in Africa. You might be from another country in Africa. So for instance, like Ghana got this or two. So if you bissa but you from Ghana, you know what I'm saying, then Bissa and Burkina Faso, they'll be cool with you, but they still have problems within their own tribe. They be they be they be having problems within their own tribe, man. In their own tribe, they be hating on each other and stuff. They be getting into stuff. You know what I'm saying? When I was in Zebra, all of them didn't like each other in the village. You know what I'm saying? But they they went like trying to trying to unalive each other or something like that. You know how we do, you know. But yeah, they they, they had their little issues and you know, I got to learn a lot, man. I got to see a lot, learn a lot. But they let Asians and Europeans come there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't had no problems like I had. I guarantee it. Matter of fact, they was owning. They, man, they would like like to put it like this: If you go downtown Burkina Faso, if you go downtown, you would be looking around like, God damn, this is like downtown somewhere in America where they yeah, downtown be lit. Downtown, they got big buildings up, restaurants all over the place. It looked like a downtown. That was Cuddy fought on the house. Then what happened with the house? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of uh, what's it that was it that crib that uh, they had built. I don't even know what happened with him in the crib. Yeah, I had got lost in the sauce with a lot of stuff because I was busy, man. I had my hands full, you know, five kids and a wife and all of that, and I was trying to make sure we on point. Then I was, I had recorded a whole album out there, and I was moving, I was going back and forth then, trying to make sure, you know, everything was took care of, like paying the bills and everything, and, uh, you no, know, get yeah, make sure the electricity running and all that. You know what I mean? Like, man, it was crazy. He said JT sold it without him knowing. Ah, oh, damn, damn, that's crazy. Damn, he sold the crib. <laughs> he sold the crib. Damn, I didn't even know. Yeah, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he was probably in the crib right now, for real. Okay, you record. Yeah, I recorded an album out there, and uh, yeah, it was called it was called uh, Back from Slavery. Yeah, I had recorded that mug out there, and I got a couple tracks that I put back up from it, but the whole album not up no more. You know what I mean? Just just do business stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And so I had to redo a lot of uh, like a lot of business and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Redo, redo some things. So I got a whole bunch of music I re-released and stuff like that. But yeah, I had a good time, man. I had a good time. Time I was going to the studio, probably like I probably pull up to the studio at like 
seven o'clock, like seven o'clock at night, and I'll be in the studio most of the time to probably like two in the morning, three in the morning, you know what I'm saying? And then I was driving the streets blank. Nobody's in the streets, just me driving to the crib. The ladies out there sweeping the street. It was crazy, man. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, I didn't even get to see what, uh, like, what spot he was at or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I remember Phil from Africa that scored and Tariq. I remember, I remember that name, Tariq. And it slipped my mind. Said, welcome them. They welcome them with no problem. And show all their tears to the floor. Yeah, they do. They do. The thing it be for real is they they thinking about that bag. You know what I'm saying? They thinking about that bag. So they looking at it like they they looking at us like they looking at us like that too. Like they could get some, but they not really they not really uh expecting that much. But when they see them folks, they thinking nah, they go start a business here and we got an opportunity to come up with them, you know what I'm saying? So they do be looking at it like that. They be, yeah, we got to come with a big bag. And you can come with it. You can come with a bigger bag than the Asian and the, uh, and the, you can come with a bigger bag. You know what I'm saying? But they just don't, they, they just don't want you to take off like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they, they, they do do that, man. They do do that, man. They get them more respect. I just put it like that. Much peace and love. They get them more respect. You know what I'm saying? They show me love, though. You know, it wasn't it wasn't always a bad thing, but you know, I had like I told y'all before. I had my many a times I got into it with them and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? For all different type of reasons, I had a bunch of arguments. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, I know they probably. It got to a point with them, with me, because I'm doing everything on my own. I don't want you to drive me around nowhere. I'm pulling on myself. I don't need you. You know what I'm saying? I got tired of that, too. I got into with them about that, because they trying to get some extra bread out of me and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I ain't giving you, bro. Get up out of here with that, man. You know what I'm saying? Making it seem like I owe them money for certain like, bro. Nah, who playing? Nah, you know what? I drive myself. That's what we do. I drive myself. You know what I mean? That's a shame we treat them equal over here. Thank you. It's sad love to go to Africa one day. I'm 37. I need that experience. It was a good experience, man. It was a good experience. The only thing I say is I wish that I would have just went on some uh on the vacation mind type thing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have that on my mind. You no, know, I ain't had it on my mind at first. You no, know, it wasn't nothing about no vacay. You no, know, but afterwards, you know, if it would have been a lot better, you know what I'm saying? I did a stupid thing like like uh, the JT situation. That was my fault that I even bought land. I ain't have to buy no land from JT. You know what I'm saying? Because I had went out there. You know what I mean? I had did DNA stuff and all of that. So I wasn't even nowhere around him or nothing like that. You know, I got escorted to the village and all of that, man. So I was like, man, it was stupidity on my end, for real, you know what I'm saying, for even doing it. But shout out to him for giving me the bread back. JT gave me the bread back. So shout out to him for that. You know, he didn't have to. He could have been like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, you paid. And I think he I think he did have something on there, like uh, no refund something or something like that. I forgot, I forgot how the page looked. Now he had it set up, you know what I mean? But you know, it's neither her nor her. Hey, he threw he threw the flowers back to me, so you know what I'm saying. So you know what I mean? You say, could he mess everything up? <laughs> no, nah, man. I like uh, looking at Cuddy's situation. You know, it's just like I don't know everything. It's a little confusing to me about uh, I was I was shocked that him and JT had fell out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I was shocked he was back at Burkina Faso too, you know what I mean? And uh, cause I seen 
JT uh, going back and forth, you know, he would go to Kenya, come back to America for a little bit, and then go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I was like, uh, just thinking everything was smooth, you know, everything was still going cool until one of my bros had told me about the whole situation. That was when, you know, I was like, man, let me go on the internet and see what's going on, because I ain't know nothing about none of that, you know what I'm saying? But hey, man. I wish him the best of luck, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish him the best of luck. And uh, and everybody else who got their issues, too. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't ever had no reason to... Uh, to I had nothing bad to say about uh, JT. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. It's crazy how everything played out, though, man. It's crazy how it played out, man. It was like a damn movie. I think you two said that, like... I think it said something like, yeah, it's, it, was, it was a movie, man. It was a movie. I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of learning. I had good talks with them out there. You know what I'm saying? We had some good times where we sitting down, we drinking wine, and, uh, you know, we eating good. We'll probably buy a little chicken and just eat the chicken together. And then, you know what I'm saying? We just sitting up there talking and chilling. And then, I got to talk to brothers and sisters who was from Burkina Faso, from the village, but they was in other countries. Like some was in uh, France, one was in the United States. Somebody was coming from France to Burkina Faso. You know what I mean? I got to talk to a lot of them. You know, it was crazy. They were surprised I was there. That was one thing. They was looking like, why, why are you? What made you come out here? You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, hey, I just took the DNA test. And wherever it's safe, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Much peace and love. Much peace and love. You know what I mean? So I was like, it was an adventure, man. It was, it was a whole experience, too. You know, I had a good experience, man. I got to see village life. You know what I'm saying? I got to see... You know, the animals, like, uh, how they, they got the food all around them, bro. The food is right there. It's like the food is just walking around. You know what I'm saying? They walking around, you know, they chilling. Like, I was at, uh, like, this one, bro, I was at his little bar. I pulled up to his bar. He used to just have the music blasting. They would be out there just drinking beers all day, bro, all day. They'd wake up drinking. From sun up to sundown, just chilling, you know what I'm saying? So I got to kick in and have a cool time, man, get some good adventure in and talk to them, you know what I'm saying, and everything, had some good talks, you know what I mean? I don't know, they had a lot of times where they was expecting other stuff, too, like, they was even, they was even pissed off that I had bought land from JT, I remember they was a little salty about that, and they was like, you, you bought some land? From JT, from, from landing from JT. I'm like, yeah, I got some land from JT. You know what I'm saying? They was a little salty about that or whatever. I think they was mad about uh how much I paid for it too, cause they was looking at it probably like they could get more money out of me. You know what I mean? I was like, nah. I got yeah, I paid for this. You know, I got that or whatever. You know, they was salty about that, man. I never forget that. But it was cool, man. You live and you learn, man. You live and you learn. You know what I mean? If I can take it back, then I would have never bought the land because not from JT, I wouldn't have bought the land because I'm I, I would be looking at it like well when I go out there, you know, the tribe will, you know, show me love and they go give me land, even though they never gave me no land too. They was talking about give me some, but they never gave me no land, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was like, you know what? I could have just gone straight back to the capital and um I got the land from JT, but I'm about some more land. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's crazy, man. Like, I, yeah, I ain't know nothing about uh, the house situation and stuff. So, yeah, I, I, uh, I remember if I if I if I am thinking right, I remember when they built the crib. That mode was nice though. It was a little, nice little cool crew. I think that might be the one by the um by the um by the water well. 
JT blessed him with that too, boy. That water, I know they still be using that. Live you learn, man. Yeah, oh yeah. I definitely be on it, you know what I'm saying? I definitely be on it. I gotta make an earn every day, you know what I'm saying? Make some shape, you know what I mean? Much love, much love, much peace and love. Yeah, man. I had a good experience. I'm glad everybody who did get to see my experience when I was out there got a chance to see it too, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I really just wanted to, um, I was new to the blog and shit, man. And so I really just wanted my family to see it, you know what I mean? They started telling me, like, people from their jobs started saying it. And then all of a sudden it was like, it was like it turned into some uh, celebrity type shit. You know, it was kind of crazy, man. Then everywhere I started going, everybody, you know what I'm saying, remember me. You know what I mean? It'd be like that in the city. I touched down the same, touched back down to St. Louis. Everybody look, everybody like, oh yeah, bro, hey, you that you, you that one bro. This how this how crazy it is. Motherfucker in my city. I'm right in front of your face. Hey, oh man, you still out there? Yeah, I'm still out there, bro. It's crazy. People be saying some crazy shit, bro. 2400 up two loads. You talking about the trucking? Yeah, JT, you know what I'm saying? He, he turned me back up, man. I, uh, I never even talked to him. I, I, I thought to email him because I just wanted to see the video, you know what I'm saying? When, uh, when we had pulled up out there. And uh, on the first video, he had, you know, he had just pulled up to the hotel and he brought some chicken. He bought a lot of food, bro. He bought a lot of food and uh, it was too much food. He bought us some food. It was like some chicken, and I forgot what was all in there. I don't think it was like some chicken fries. Or that might have been something else. But I know it was chicken, though. I forgot what all it was. But he bought a lot of food, man. So I was just like, damn, that's a lot of food. It's too much, you know what I'm saying? Then we went over to his crib. That was another video, you know what I'm saying? Then we just rapped about everything. Much peace and love. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'm glad I made it too, man. I'm glad I I did that, you know what I'm saying? Especially at that time, man. You know, I went at the at, at that like uh um, in, in that right in the beginning of the pandemic time, you know what I'm saying? The pandemic. I went right at the beginning of the pandemic. So I that was the point where they had everybody posted up in the crib. You know what I mean? So since I was sitting in the crib every day, you know, I got to looking at YouTube. I think that's when I ran across, uh, I forgot the one sister that had went to Ghana, but that's when I ran into like the Bag family. You know what I'm saying? I started seeing, uh, you know, brothers and sisters, you know, in Africa doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? The Bag family really motivated me though, man. I really love the Bag family. They still doing their thing too. Shout out to the Bag family. You know what I mean? They doing their thing, man. And then uh, then I had found out about JT. That was the thing, too, I had. That's when I got to learn about JT, because when I did that DNA thing, it said Burkina Faso and all of that. I was like, let me look at Burkina Faso. I didn't know what the hell Burkina Faso was. I didn't even know. I, I never heard of Burkina Faso before. We probably made it famous out here, because I ain't never know nothing about no Burkina Faso. And uh, yeah, the bag family in the Gambia. The one had went to the Gambia. Yeah, he, yeah, he showed love, man. He showed love. JT showed love, man. But uh, when I had first learned about JT was let me go ahead and look look up a Kenneth Faso. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't never heard of that. Then I look, and then uh, JT popped up. You know what I'm saying? And then uh. When I seen JT out there, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? Then I had uh, start seeing, like, his stuff. Like, you know how you – I had an algorithm work, and I'm seeing his stuff. I'm seeing him, but he popping up on the side. So I, I started seeing other stuff. 
Then I had a story learning about him being a music artist. I'm, I'm just a little younger, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't know. I ain't never heard of him and stuff like that. And so I, I started uh, seeing like the music he did, the movies. That's when I was like, oh yeah, I know these people like uh, Snow on the Bluff. When I had seen it, I'm like, oh, damn, JT did that. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, I know some of your works then. I just ain't know you was behind it, but that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, all right. So then I went back and then I started, you know, tripping off everything he was doing. Then that's when, I, at that time, he was selling shea butter. That's when I pop, when I first seen him, he was he was selling the shea butter. And then, then I started seeing stuff about like land and stuff like that. Yeah, shout out to the Bay Area. Shout out to the Bay Area. I started learning a whole bunch of shit. I had caught up on a lot of stuff, man. You know what I mean? I had I had learned about how him and Tupac got into it or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Then I had learned about, you know what I mean, the uh, the shooting incident and everything, how they did them in Atlanta. And uh, all that was new to me. You know what I'm saying? And all. Uh, then the... Um, then like uh, it was something about how they was trying to steal the uh, the hard drives from them and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, damn. Yeah, in the nineties. Yeah. So I was I, I had to catch up on all that, man. But yeah, he did his thing with the movies and shit. I started catching up on all his movies and everything like that. He had some he had some good ass movies, man. He had some good ass movies. He made good music too. JT make good music, you know what I'm saying? He makes some good music, you know what I mean? And then it was even more crazy, like how I hooked up with Lil B. You know, I still think JT he, he probably got something to do with it either way. You no, know, but I gave him, I gave him his flowers on it anyway. He, he, even if he, he is, uh, he don't got nothing to do with it. Lil B probably just was like shit. I'm a fuck with him because you know what I'm saying, shit. You know, JT. We from the same area, so you know, boom, boom, bam. Hey, so I just probably got caught a little blessing with that one, you know. It was cool to get that, you know what I mean? Much peace and love, much peace and love. Yeah, I was uh, you know, just rapping about how JT uh threw me the bread back. He did pay me the bread back, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to um make sure everybody knew the facts, you know what I'm saying? See. See, on my end, nothing, nothing negative. I ain't never, even when I was talking about, like, yeah, I, did, I, I got land from, even when I was talking about that, I still wasn't, uh, I wasn't going crazy, like, t talking down and nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, you know, because my situation, I couldn't say that he scammed me. The way I was moving and the things how I went, it's almost like I scammed my damn self, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have to buy the land from him. And then I wouldn't have even around him. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get to see the land, nothing. You know what I mean? So it was crazy, man. So moral of the story, buy land when you get to Africa. Get to Africa first. You know, talk to the right people. Go look at the sections. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, make sure you make your, your payment, get your paperwork and stuff like that, the correct way and stuff like that. But, yeah, either way. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I was like, uh, it's crazy how it worked out, too, man. It was just like, I was like, um, I'm trying to email him about the video. I wanted to get the video. You know what I mean? Hopefully he put him back up, too, man. That'd be cool. I think he was talking about a... Uh, he was talking about doing some with the videos. I forgot. He, he went live one day. And uh, he was talking about doing some with the videos. I think he go probably re-release some. I don't know if he go re-release them or make some kind of movie out of it or what. But I was like, I know you got them. I know you got them. That's what he do, JT, to keep up with shit, bro. JT keep Man, I'm telling you. JT keep up with fans and shit. Like he not go, you know what I'm saying? He probably got all the photos, everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's how men do it. For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? I was like, I not know. <laughs> I told him in the email. I'm like, I know you got him. 
You know what I'm saying? But I respect it, you know what I mean? Either way, hopefully you put it up. You know, that'd be cool. I just want to see it for real. I'm not trying to get nothing out of it. I don't make no money off of YouTube right now or nothing like that anyway. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to put it up. You know, like uh, I think I put up one live and then, you know, it had the picture, it had the photo. You know, we was together that day, that same day. I had pulled up over his crib where they brought me to the crib or whatever. But yeah, man, good ass experience. I I learned a lot. And uh everything that happened should teach everybody a lot too, you know what I'm saying? How to move, what to expect, you know what I'm saying? Like uh all that, you know what I mean? And how um you know how things can be, you know what I'm saying? Cause shit. Motherfuckers can say it. JT, uh, JT scam this and that, but hey, the Africans are gonna scam your ass, boy. Oh yeah, they go, they go get you if they can get you. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bag. You no, know, so they they get you, boy. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you know be on the careful side, and uh, it's good to link with somebody too. But I say be careful about that too, depending on who you're linking with. Cause I had linked up with like a uh, before I came out there, I had linked up with um this one lady. Uh, she lived in New York, but she take care of like government business. You know what I'm saying? She live in New York though, so she be going be between the fossil business from America. You know what I mean? So I, I got to talk with her, and um it was crazy how it all worked out for real. You know, then I had started talking to them in the village. Then the king had called me. The king had straight called me as soon as I pulled up to Burkina Faso. He gave me a phone call. His English was terrible. He was trying to talk English. You know what I'm saying? He said he only said like two words or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But the king was real good to me too. Shout out to the king of uh, Zabra. No lie, he was he was he was he was cool, man. He popped. He had me pop up on him a few times. I seen the king like. I seen him like I seen him a lot of times. Let's just put it like that. You know what I mean? And I remember one day, man, it's real crazy right here. You know what I'm saying? He said he was gonna put him on his website. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool too. That's cool too. Yeah, but um, I remember one day, man. Um. I forgot who it was to the king. It was two deaths, matter of fact, in the village. It was like, um, I think it was like, I think it might have been like his grandmother or his uh, mother or something. It was somebody's grandmother. And, you know, I remember his, um, his brother had passed away too. You know what I mean? And then when that happened, I pulled up by myself because I remember one bro from the village. I was wondering, like, bro, you know, his people just passed. You don't want to, you don't want to pull up over there so we can pay respects. He kind, of, he kind of didn't want to go. I pulled up by myself and gave my respects. You know what I'm saying? Pulled up, made sure I let the king know. You know what I'm saying? We was cool, man. So I'll probably always be welcome in the village, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I ever pulled up in the village, they'll probably, oh, yeah, what's up, man? You know, could, you know. Shit, the king was cool with me. I pulled up and showed him his respect, you know what I'm saying, for his loss and everything like that, you know what I mean? And, you know, he always, like, he he um had some food for me, you know what I'm saying? When I pulled up and we talking, he had, you know what I'm saying, he had some food. We'd be eating some chicken and shit like that, drinking a few beers together and shit like that. This happened every time I seen the king. Like, he'll pull up to the bar. He'll pull up to the bar, and then uh, I'll pull up to the bar. And then uh, he had some chicken coming. They getting the chicken coming. I remember it was a couple of them that was a little jealous about that. They, they, was, they was a little jealous about that. It was kind of mad that I was kicking it with the king, and he was that cool with me and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Looking like, man, you don't kick it with me like that. You know what I'm saying? But it was cool, though, man. But to each day on, as far as, you know, different experiences go, man. But I had a good-ass experience, man. I had a good time, you know. 
got land, took care of business, took care of my family, and shit, got to get them toys, clothes, you know, got to get me a whip out there, I had a little, uh, what did them fold door, oh yeah, I seen it, yeah, I seen a little, it was a, it was a Volkswagen, though, it looked like a, a Impala, though, that mo was nice. That mode was nice, you hear me? Yeah, I've got two motorcycles out there. I was doing my thing, man. I was doing my thing. I had a good adventure, man. I had a good adventure, man. And I was just like, I was just like, man, overall, man, it was a blessing, though, you know what I'm saying? Just to get my mind, just to get my mind away for a second, you know what I'm saying? But I, well, how to, how things was, you know what I'm saying? As far as like the pandemic time and just freeing my mind from uh, everything like that I had been going through in America for a while, then got it got to put me in a better mental space, you know what I'm saying? I needed that break, you know. I needed that that vacation. Ancestors was like, nah, a couple of days ain't good, a week ain't good. Go away for like a year. You know, go away for like a year and then your mind will be better. You know what I'm saying? So with that much time and staying away and enjoying myself, kicking it with them, talking to them, it, it helped me out mentally. I feel better now. You know what I'm saying? I feel a lot better. Can anyone drive out there? Yeah, you can drive. You just have to uh, – you got to have your license. You got to have a license to drive, though. But uh, they ain't, they, I ain't have to get eight license. I still had my like I had my license, so they was just looking at it like, hey, he got his license, so hey. But I ain't I ain't have to use my license to get a vehicle, uh, um, which is kind of weird now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, I ain't have to use my license to get no uh, vehicle or uh, the motorcycles and nothing like that. But if they pull you over, you get caught, and you ain't got no kind of driver license, then it'll be a problem. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know. That probably ticket you or something like that. But yeah, you could drive. You could drive yourself. You know what I'm saying? I drove. Oh boy, I drove me and my family everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We was always driving places. I was all. I was all over the city on the motorcycle. I was driving all over the place. Was it hard for the kids to just? Nah, nah. I went hard for them to just. It was just like. They was they was they was little, you know what I'm saying. So it was like, first off, it's like the kids that uh was cut, like when we first touched down in the village, all the kids wanted to, to kick it and play and shit like that, you know what I'm saying. But they speak French, so it was like, and then in, in, in the village, they was they spoke heavily uh Bissa, and we was trying, you know, we was picking up on, you know what I'm saying, and so. It was like uh, everywhere else, it wasn't the same as the village with the kids or whatever, but, you know, uh, it wasn't hard for them because, shit, that's why I'm happy to have so many kids. They can help each other have a good time, you know what I'm saying? I got five kids, so they don't lose uh, a second of fun or nothing like that. And, um, you know, I brought the PlayStation out there for them, so they still had the PS4, you know what I mean? And uh, boy, the kids walked in the crib in the village, and they saw because I had to, I had to plug up the projector. I had a projector with me too. I had brought the projector out there with me, hooked up the PS4 to it, and the kids came in the crib like, "What the hell? Damn, this nigga got this nigga got this shit." You know, so I let them play the game a little bit, let the kids in the village play the game a little bit. And then it got to a point where I'm like, "All right." Cause it's a lot of kids, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people in the village, you know what I mean? But the kids, it was a lot of people. I'll put it like that. It would start being a lot of people steadily coming to the crib a few times and shit like that. So it was like, y'all got to shake now, bro. Like, y'all doing too much now, you know what I'm saying? And the kids wanted a bunch of attention. And I'm like, nah, man. Too much going on. You know what I'm saying? But overall, though, yeah, it went hard for the kids, you know what I'm saying? Especially... No matter where I'm at, they don't leave my, you know what I'm saying? They don't leave, they don't leave my side. They always with me. 
I'm always with my kids. I'm always around. So, you know what I'm saying? Same old, same old. You know, but they had a good time. We went to a little zoo out there. Um, I'm trying to think. We went to like a, it was like a little a arcade. It was like a, not an arcade spot, but it was like a little swimming pool spot. This was the one brother producer that had produced my album. He had took me to this little spot where they had like a pool there, you know, a little mini restaurant there. You know what I mean? I got a video of that too. That video's still up. But uh, yeah, we went out there, man. So we went to a few cool spots, man. We went to a lot of places, though. I'm trying to think of all the places, man. Big salute, big salute. Mon Fred. Yeah, man, but we had a good time, man. There's a lot of nice places at Burkina Fossil that you wouldn't even know that they have going on, you know what I'm saying? They got some nice spots, man. So got to pull up to some nice spots, check them out. You know what I mean? I got all of it recorded, though, so I'm happy I got to record it, too, man. We went to, uh, I remember when they built the club, too, the new club. Another bro had built the new club, too. He was he was uh wanting me to pop up at his club. I ain't never get to see his club. But, um, yeah, they got a bunch of they got a bunch of clubs, though. They got a lot of clubs. Uh, I mean, especially in the capital, there's a whole bunch of clubs. I went to a bunch of stores. You know, bunch of um like restaurants you know what i'm saying like they got a lot of stuff going on man so they got they they got they got uh they got uh they ain't got too much like like gaming spots or nothing like that but they got this like it's like a little it's it's almost like a, a little gym they got too i think they got a couple of things going on where you could probably go. They had like a little soccer field too. I forgot about that. They love that soccer boy. And so they had they had a little. I had that recorded too. I forgot about that. That little soccer stick. Matter of fact, I think that's the night. Yeah, I was with Queen L that night. Yeah, my family and Queen L and her uh, daughters. Yeah, we had went out to the soccer game. And then we had went to this little, uh, it was like a club slash restaurant, and we went to go eat, you know what I'm saying? And then, then we had got up out of there, you know what I'm saying, went to the crib. But yeah, that was a good ass time too, man. The soccer, the soccer stadium is actually nice, man. Yeah, that's African football, yeah. That's what they call it, football, but it's soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate soccer, man. I hate it, bro. They love it. They love that they watch every game that be popping up on the TV. And it was a real big thing. I remember one time, I forgot. I guess it was like, you know how the championships coming around or whatever. Man, the whole block had their TVs out at the restaurants and the little club spots. All of them was watching it. I'm looking like, man, turn the video, turn the music on. Nobody want to see no damn soccer. But it's cool, man. Shout out to them and they, and they football, man. They, they love that. Shout out to what they love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all good. It'd it, it be a little interesting to watch, man. They'd be steady telling me, no, 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 you got to, uh, you got to, you got to just pay attention to it. Like, just look, it'll grow on you. I'm like, nah, man, it's not going to grow on me. Queen L made some music out there too. I, yeah, I think I heard about that. I remember hearing about that. I don't think I got a chance to hear it. Did I hear it? I think I might I might have heard it. Yeah, I might have heard it. I remember that though. I remember when she uh, had made some music. I don't know who she did it with though or, or where she did it and nothing like that. But yeah, had a, I had a nice ass, um, some nice ass time in the studio. I had um a nice ass photo shoot, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the the photo the photo shoot, man. The photo shoot was nice, man. I had a good ass time, man. You no know, shit, I had a nice ass experience, man. I'm gonna have to check out check out um check out and see if I ran into um 
her music before. I probably did hear it though. I remember JT doing his thing with the music out there too. He had some, he had some hot ass tracks, man. JT had some some tracks, man. I forget the um. I remember the bikini, the bikini. I remember that one. But uh, he had one track though. Oh boy, where it was like uh, I forgot the one chick that was singing on the hook. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot how it go, but that motherfucker was whole. You know what I mean? But yeah, shout out to everybody who's doing their thing, you know, traveling and doing music and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And videos. Now, that's the only thing. I wanted to shoot a video out there, but it's all to the G, though. Soccer football is the number one sport in the world. We just don't watch much in the year. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. That's soccer, that's soccer shit. I can't fuck with that. If I ain't watch, if it ain't basketball, I don't want to see it for real. Like I love football too, but they done changed a lot since back in the day. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like football used to be football, man. Like back in the day. Yeah, that jump was smart. Yeah, yeah. That track was hard. That track was hard. I ain't go back. That mode was hard. I was like, okay. I remember. I remember. Um, Smarty in there. Yeah, I remember that name. Damn, I'm trying to think what she had said, but whatever though. I'm trying to think of the hoop. But yeah, that mode was hard. I heard that mode. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? That mode is nice. The hook is what really got me. She did her thing on the hook. I like football and baseball. Oh, basketball. Yeah, I love me some basketball. I love me some basketball, man. I don't, I don't get to watch. I don't be watching. Uh, I don't be watching the games like I used to. But yeah, I love basketball, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised on how the uh, the playoffs went this year. It's, it's, it shocked the hell out of me. I, I, I definitely thought once LeBron and them had got past. Got got past Curry and them. I'm like, oh damn, LeBron and them for them. LeBron for take him another one. I couldn't believe LeBron got knocked out like that. That was wild. That was wild. Yeah, the song was fire. I, I'm trying to remember. Look at me. I'm trying to remember again because I think she was speaking uh, French or something. In there. I'll run into it though. But yeah, that mo was hard though. Lakers Nation all day. And I'm a Spurs fan, so I can't talk Spurs no more because Tim Duncan gone. You know what I'm saying? Tony Parker gone. It's a whole new squad. And they is horrible right now, so I can't even speak on the Spurs. I used to love uh I used to love the Bulls, but when, once Michael Jordan had left, I turned into a Spurs fan after that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I turned into a Spurs fan after that as soon as uh Soon as Tim Duncan had had got uh drafted to the Spurs, since when I turned into a Spurs fan, then y'all get that French kid. They say nuggets too deep. Joke of the truth, man. That's I I ain't even got to be tuned in to basketball to watch all the games. I ain't know the Nuggets was getting down like that. You know what I'm saying? It's been an adventure. I, then I missed out on a whole lot, like. When I had went to Africa, man, when I went to Africa, I had pretty much lost tabs on uh all kind of sports stuff. You know, I was I was, I just got busy as hell. There was so much to do every day, man. It was like I ain't have to do nothing like going to work. But it was like I still was going to work because it was a lot to do every single day, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn, I got to run here, I got to run now, I got to make sure my kids, yada, 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 you know what I'm saying? It was, it was a lot. Then I remember one time, man, it was like these big-ass bugs, bro, that was in the crib. We was in the village. Man, bro. It was like some cockroach bugs or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Some bugs I ain't seen since back in the day, bro. Like, oh, my God, bro. I think that motherfucker had 
I had got in my hair one time when I was laying down, man. I, I don't even want to talk about it, man. I don't even want to talk about it. Boo, boy. Boo. Trying to be slick. Yeah, man. But I had a good ass adventure, man. I had a good ass time. I had a good time meeting all the kings in the capital and in the. Uh, I went to a couple different, a few different bits of villages. Got to see they kings. Then I was like, damn, hold on. So, y'all got different bits of villages. And y'all got different kings. Like, each little section got their own king. I'm like, oh, y'all is not playing. Oh, boy. Told you I was going to kick your ass down. I'm like, damn, they got it like this, like every section. Then they had it like that. In the Masi villages, every section. I'm thinking they probably got one king, you know what I'm saying? Now, every section got their own king, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, okay. Shout out, shout out to the Lakers, though, man. I remember, uh, I remember Magic doing this thing a long time ago. I was a baby then, though. Much peace and love, much peace and love. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, overall, you know, I wanted to talk about, you know, you no, know, JT uh paying me the money back and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, he gave me my flowers and everything. You know, telling me I did my thing and you no know, he was holding it down out there and I was like shit. I was talking to him about that too. Like shit, you did your thing, shit. He had a bunch of shit going. Like he was selling shape butter and he was doing a lot. I was like, shit, I ain't I ain't doing all that shit you was doing. I just came out there. I was trying to get in the village, you know what I'm saying? Chill, hand me some birds here and there. You know what I mean? But it was an adventure, man. Had a good ass, I had a good ass uh, movie. It's like I was in a damn movie. Yeah, that shit was crazy though, man. It was surprising a little bit, you know. I got, I got to learn a lot, so I'm happy how everything played out. But shout out to JT for shooting money back. And shout out to his family, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to them. And uh, we kept in touch the whole time, too. Even though I was in the village and um, he was in the capital. Me and JT, uh, we had talked through, um, what's, the, what's the app? I forgot the app. Uh, you know, you know the um, where you can make calls and shit on Man, so we was on the app. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, so we was, we would be uh, texting on there and everything like this. So I'd be rapping with him and everything. I think it was, I think it was like uh, he was kind of wondering, you know, when I'd be pulling back up. You know what I mean? So I was like uh, just chopping it up with him. His wife was talking to my wife the whole time and stuff like that too. So yeah, man. You know. Much peace and love to everybody who did pop up and I did me too. Like uh it was cool like uh, to see Queen Ill and her family and everything. It was cool to see uh the other sister. It was another sister from Cali. It was another sister that had came from Cali too, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, one one goat. I had a couple goats. One goat got eight, <laughs> and one goat got away. You know what I'm saying? I had a, I ain't never, I ain't never even say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? But I let the goat go. You know what I mean? I let it go. And then I had a, a few chickens too, and um, all them chickens got demolished. You know what I'm saying? All, all the chickens got eight. You know what I mean? I just took it up to the little, little restaurant. And uh, let them go and whip it up for me real quick. Them got smashed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them girls got smashed. Just say 350 coming in a real life way. Man. But yeah, man. Yeah, the one of the ghosts. I forgot what happened. I forgot why I, I, I let it go, man. It was something that was getting on my nerves, man. But yeah, them ghosts be irritating, man. Them ghosts be irritating as hell, man. I was, that was my first time learning about how, you know, they like to be up on hills or they go climb the highest they can get. You know what I'm saying? If they're able to climb up on your roof, 
They go climb up on your roof. And the goat used to do that shit. Be up on the way up on the roof, talk to where I can't even get to him. You know, so I don't even know how the hell he got up there. Then I was down, let's go kill his damn self. I forgot how I got it down. That motherfucker was irritated. Then I had to tie him up. Then he was shitting all over the place. Yeah, I had to get rid of his ass. You know what I'm saying? The other one got smashed, though. Nah, I mean. The other one got smashed. Nah, uh, uh, we had did it for my son's birthday. And I wanted them to see how it's done. You know what I'm saying? I remember my daughter. My daughter was, she was looking like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, but your ass eat gold, don't you? You got to watch how it's done, you know what I'm saying? So they got to see how it's prepared and everything like that. I got that on video, too. I got that recorded. So I was happy they got to see it. You know what I'm saying? My bro Willie in the village, he had, you know, he had whipped up, had whipped up. You know what I'm saying? It was so much meat, though. The gold wasn't even that big. It was hella meat. You know what I'm saying? So... I had so much meat. The other half, like, barely could fit in the little freezer we had, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I had a good ass adventure, man. I'm glad my kids got to enjoy themselves, learn a lot, see a lot. You know what I mean? And can't nobody ever tell us shit. They're like, man, did you know my daddy took us to Africa? You know what I'm saying? So that's cool, man. I love my babies. Happy they, they got to do, you know what I'm saying? They got to do their thing. From kids to a plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They got to see it all. They got to see it all. You know what I'm saying? And I still got the, um, I'm trying to think of where I put it at. I got where I put it at, man. I still got, I had saved some of the, um, I saved some of the, um, the fur. I'm put it in a, um, a picture frame for my son. You know what I'm saying? So he always have it. I still got it. That we had, I had took a piece of the uh, the fur part. So I kept up with it. Still got that. Put that in the plaque for my son. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn right. They was trying to, they was trying to take that because they eat all that too. You know, they just, they just um take the fur off and eat it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, I want the fur. Gave my fur, yeah, bro. I was trying to take that. I'm like, no, nah, I want my fur, bro. And I had washed it and put it up, you know what I'm saying? And cut it nice in a nice little square shape so it could fit in a picture frame for my son and whatever, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, they they uh they cook the blood, you know what I'm saying? They cook the blood and then they eat that. They um they eat every damn thing on the go. They eat everything, bro. They don't waste nothing. They don't waste nothing. They be whipping up too. I give them their flowers on that. They cook their ass off out there. Yeah, the the village food was the best food I had. I ain't gonna cap. It was way better than the capital food, man. But the capital did their thing. But the village, I give it up to y'all, bro. I get yeah. They eat the blood. They cook it though. So they cook it though. So it's like. When it's cooking, it's like it turned into like it turned into a meat. Like it looked like a meat, and they eat it once it get done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they was eating that. It said barbecue, some goat meat for African friends. They was happy as hell. I couldn't bring myself to eat it, but I knew how to barbecue though. Oh man, yeah, hey, that goat. I know they was happy. Shit, that's like a a top. The top notch delicacy to have, you know what I'm saying? You gotta definitely know how to whip up that grill. I'm good on the grill, but shit, we ain't had one out there. I forgot how. What the hell did they cook it on? I think they had like a little mini one or something like that. Oh no, nah, they built. They built a um. They got a big stick. They had got a big stick or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just put it through the dirt. I mean the dirt. They put it through the goat, you know what I'm saying, from front to back, and then they built up a little section, you know what I'm saying, like, basically like a campfire type thing, you know what I'm saying. I was like, oh, that's what's up, you know, they did their thing, bro, you know, cooked it just like that. I think they did it the second time just like that, too. 
So it was cool, man. So I had a good time, good adventure, you know what I mean? Drink good, drink good, eating all it. But yeah, much peace and love to everybody who pulled up, man. That plasma and blood was turning into me. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, you wouldn't even know, like, it was blood. You know what I'm saying? And then it was like, shit, because they had game, and they was like, you know what I'm saying? Her taste it or whatever. You know, once it's done, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even notice that, like, it's no, no blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't notice it. I was like, you know what? I'll take a bite because, shit, when you cooking chicken, it got blood in it. You just want it to be done. I just want it to be fully done. Move, boy. I want it to be fully done. So, shit, it's just like the blood that's in your meat that you cook until it was well done. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, all right. But they be, uh, they be eating everything, man. They eat all of it. You know what I'm saying? How much peace and love to everybody who pulled up, man. You know, shout out to everybody. Shout out to Pew. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to make sure I... You no, know, do a, do a few more lives and get back into this stream or thing. You know, I had to figure it out again. You know, it, it's been a long time since I've been on the stream You know, what I mean, pop up, do some more lives on stream You know what I'm saying? Then, you no, know, if anybody got some questions or whatever, like they even know, I'm pretty much I'm talked about a lot of shit. But it's probably some shit, motherfucker. Might got a question about you know what I'm saying? But. Overall, much peace and love, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to JT. He shot me the bread back, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I mean? Make sure y'all, you know, sure, hit the like button and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. But much peace and love, y'all.